All right, Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to start off by giving all praises, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rekakwadash. Secondly, I want to give double honors to our apostles and our elders here at Great Millstone for teaching us this truth and who rule well. And Shalom to all you brothers across the four corners of this earth pushing this word with all righteousness and sincerity. Shalom. All right, it's your brother Kabat from GMS Heavy Honor 144, GMS South Carolina Midlands Camp. Coming back with a quick video through the power and the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. And Lord willing, this video is edifying and good nourishment to the house of David. All right, and then just getting straight into the video, as we see on the screen, we already know what time it is, man. Second Peter chapter 1 to 10, man. It's all about giving that diligence to make your calling uh, uh, and your, your calling to this to this truth, to this ministry of Yahweh Yahweh Shai has allowed you to take part in this ministry and, and has, has shined that light upon you to see it. It's all about giving that diligence, man. And it's all about having faith, man. That word diligence and faith, they, they work hand in hand, man. All right? Because, hey, the, let's, let's, matter of fact, with that being said, let's get the definition of faith right quick. All right? Then we're going to go back to that. Now, this is the definition of faith. According to the scriptures, this is Hebrews chapter 11, verse 1. And it says, now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. All right. Now, faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things see, of things not seen, man. All right. Because, hey, we, we're hoping for what? We're hoping for salvation. All right. And hey, we're hoping that the Most High comes and redeems us. And we're hoping to be a part of the hopeful, humble, fearful elect, man. All right. And the evidence of things not seen, because a lot of people, they can't see things. All right. They, they, they actually got to physically see tangible things to believe in the most high. But when you have that faith, sincere faith and, 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 and you and you ask and you're seeking the Lord, hey, the Lord is going to going to show you that he's with you, man. All right. We don't physically have to see uh, tangible things to know that the most high exists, man. All right. And to know that the most high is real, man. And know that the most high moves through through the spirit, man. The most high has been moving through years through our apostles and our elders, man. All right. Now here it is. You have a whole a, a, a whole planet of people that have never seen Wi-Fi, but hey, they, they believe in it, man. All right. They trust in it. All right. They have faith in it, man. In Wi-Fi, man. How much more should faith should you have in in your how about Shimmy How Shai, man? All right. But sincere believers, and hey, we believe and we have faith and we know that your how about Shimmy How Shai is real, man. All right. We we can see. By the conditions of our, uh, of the, the mind frame of the Negroes, the Latinos, the Native Americans, that Yahweh Yahweh Shai is real, man. And then not to mention the fact that, hey, that, that we believe in these prophecies, man, that we have fear of the Lord, man, that we're on the highways and byways. Our eyes have seen our teachers uh, uh, being uh, uh, instant in season and out of season for years, man. So all this just builds up your faith, man. All right. And, and as we go back to uh, Second Peter uh, 1 and 10. Hey, it, 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 it tells you the importance of why you got to have that faith. All right. Now, this is uh, 2 Peter 1 and 10. Wherefore, the rather brethren give diligence to make your calling and election sure. All right. So that means give diligence, man. Be faithful in what you're involved in. Understand what you're involved in. Do the work. All right. When you've got your hands on the plow, we got to continue to work, man. All right. What well, like that saying in the word, uh, like that saying in the world. A closed mouth doesn't get fed. A man that doesn't work doesn't eat. Like the scriptures say, man. All right. And, 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 and we're working. And every day, man, what are we eating, man? We're eating this word up, man. All right. We're physically, mentally, and spiritually a, a, eating this word up because we're applying it, man. Being heroes and doers of the word, man. All right. So so every day, man, we're giving that diligence to make our election and our calling sure. Because the scriptures tell us this real quick. Let's get this real quick in Matthew. I believe that's 22 and 14. It says what? The words of Yahweh Shai Mashiach. For many are called, but few are chosen. All right. And, we, and, and Abarat says, I, hey, we want to be a part of that few, man. All right. Beginning with our apostles and our elders, man. We want to be a part of that few, man. All right. The ones that are going to be chosen. We want to be a part of that chosen, man. We want to be a part of, of this uh, right here. Let's get this real quick. Jeremiah 1 and 5. It says. Before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee, and before thou camest forth out of the womb, I sanctified thee, and I ordained thee a prophet unto 
the nation. So this is the importance of Abarat Zazah, we being that chosen, man. Abarat Zazah, the Most High, ordained us since we were in the womb, man, that we want to be a prophet to the nations, all right, and, and, and be a part of that awakening that's going on in the world right now. Be a part of that light, man. Be a part of that gospel, that good news. Be a part of uh, a part of the followers of Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, man. Be a part of, uh, of, uh, of being a part of showing perfection to the ministry when you come to serve the Lord, man, with right, with truth, righteousness, and sincerity. Because contrary to the popularity to a whole lot of people beliefs, man, a lot of people on, are in that do their own thing spirit, man. All right, doing uh, leaning on their own understanding and in that spirit of what establishing their own righteousness, man. All right, and the scriptures speak about that, man. All right, our, pe our people establish their own righteousness and they don't submit themselves to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, man. All right, and how do you submit yourself to the Lord, man? You got to come back and you got to acknowledge the Lord, man. You have to seek the Lord while he may be found, man. And, and pretty much you have to be in that spirit of Romans chapter 12 about renewing your mind, man. Because everything that this world has taught the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, it has taught our people to pretty much trans uh, transgress the Lord, man. And that means sin, man. Uh, uh, sin is transgression of the laws, man. Uh, pursuing the first John three and four, man, because the laws were only given into the nation of Israel, man. This is why, and we're on the highways and byways, we're talking, we're blowing that trumpet to the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. And if you have, and if the Lord has had mercy on you, and you have uh, shined the light on you to receive the gl uh, glorious gospel, this light, man, and you have to give diligence to make your election and your calling sure, man, because we're looking and, and we're hoping to be a part of these, the, the ones that the Most High has ordained to, in, in the womb, man, sanctified in the womb, made separate, all right, meaning that you're not of this world, man. Yeah, we're in the world, but we're not of this world, man. All right. Now let's get back to that um uh, first Peter one and ten. It says, Wherefore the rather, brethren, give diligence to make your calling and your election sure. For if you do these things, ye shall never fall. All right, and you're gonna never fall because why is that? The most high is always gonna hold you up. You have your full trust in your how about shim how shy, man. All right. The scriptures tell us this in Psalms one eighteen and eight, man, because if you never if you never fall. That means that what? You're totally depending and you're trusting in what? Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Okay, now, now, Psalms 118 and 8 says, it is better to trust in the Lord than to put confidence in man. All right, so this is why, as we just read, give diligence and, and to make your election and your calling sure. Your calling and sure to who? Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, man. Yahweh Shai said what? His sheep hear his voice, he follow, man. They, they follow, man. All right, Abarat Tazai, we're those sheep that follow the voice of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, man. Being those followers pursuing the John 8 and 12, because Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, and Yahweh Shai is the spirit of, of, of life, man, the spirit of truth, man. All right, he is the light, man, the light that has come into the world, and we're following that light, man, to make sure we give our diligence and our election and our calling sure, man. All right, now. Psalms 118 and 8 says it is better to trust in the Lord than to put confidence in man because a lot of our people have their confidence in society. They put their confidence in men. They put their confidence in the, in the, in the righteousness that they go about and establish, all right, and not into uh, uh, establishing the righteousness with Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, man, all right? And, and, and two thirds of our people have their confidence set in man, set in uh, the government, the ways of this world. Because when you read down, it says it is better to trust in the Lord, all right, than to put confidence in princesses, man. All right. And, and that's talking about the powers of this world because our people have their confidence and their minds convinced that this devil is, is their friend. They're convinced that this isn't Babylon. They're convinced that this world isn't so bad. When here it is, this devil is passing all type of laws, legislations, all type of nasty laws for all for, for the nasty people, for the heathens. And when it comes to the Negro, Latinos, and Native Americans, this devil is, con is consistently and always trying to destroy the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. But our people always seem to have their trust and their confidence in in in, in this goddamn man and in and in uh, the powers of this world man all right the scriptures tell us what second corinthians second corinthians 4 and 3 the scriptures tell us what but if our gospel be hid it is hid to them that are lost in whom the power the god of this world hath blinded the minds of them 
which believe not, okay? And, and our people don't believe in Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, man, all right? And so they, they, their, their minds, they believe in, in, in the name God and Jesus Christ, and that's a part of what? Hey, the, the powers of this world blinding the minds of the people, man, all right? And it says, lest the light of the glorious gospel of Mashiach, who is the image of Yahweh, should shine unto them, man. So unless, hey, the glorious gospel, the, the light of truth, all right, Yahweh Shai Mashiach, man, shines upon you, Hey, hey, most of our people are going to continue to be lost in that gross darkness, man. All right. But sincere believers and followers of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, the ones that hope to be the, uh, and, and, and Abarat Tazah, begin with our apostles and our elders, we the ones that hope to be the chosen. We pray that the Most High keeps that light uh, uh, guiding us, man. He keeps that light on us, man. He keeps us in that path of what? Enduring to the end because we're looking to be saved, man. That's the whole purpose of making your election and your calling sure, man. You're looking for salvation. We're looking for salvation. We're looking for the incorruptible crowns. We want to be a part of that ceremony that Edris saw in the book of Edris chapter 2 about the ones that stood stiffly for the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. The one Ones that were in the spirit of sighing and crying pretty much against the ways of this world, man, because that's what a prophet is going to be doing. A prophet is going to be doing what? We already know where we're going. Let's see what a prophet is going to be doing. Jeremiah 28 and 8 gives you a description of what a prophet of the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Shai, is going to be doing and what he's going to be speaking about, man. Now it says the prophets that have been before me, before me and before thee of old prophesied both against many countries and against great kingdoms of war and of evil and of pestilence now beginning with our apostles and our elders here at great millstone and sincere brothers and sincere followers and sincere believers of yahweh bashim habashai we're always speaking about what speaking against this place man because this place is nasty and it's corrupted nahum three and one tells you woe to the bloody city it is all full of lies man it is all full of this blood and murder and just nastiness man all right so the prophets of the Lord, when you come, if, if, if someone says they're representing the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, they're going to be speaking against this place, man, because the Lord is not cool and, and is not at all pleased with the things that are taking place here in Babylon 2.0. This is why the Lord says, hey, he, his eyes are upon the sinful kingdom and he will destroy it from off the face of the earth, man. All right. And our people are so fucking comfortable here, man. And this is not our doggone rest, man. This place is nasty, man. This place is defiled. This place is corrupted. And the Most High will, and he, and, and there's a promise, he will destroy this place off the face of the earth, man. This place is about to be nuclear destroyed, man, by thermonuclear fire, man. 200 million missiles have, have, have a date with goddamn America, man. It's going to blow this goddamn country to smithereens, man. And Abarat Tazai, we are praying to be a part of that the, the, the election that are scarcely going to be saved, man. The scriptures speak about the righteous scarcely be saved so our people have no business setting their own boundaries or, or setting their own definition of what they define as righteousness man all right hey and that's why the lord has got to destroy two-thirds of our people pursuing zechariah 13 8 and 9 now in jeremiah 8 and uh, 28 and 8 once again the prophets that have been before me and before thee of old prophesied both against many countries and against great kingdoms of war and of evil and of pestilence. So this is what a prophet of the Lord is going to be speaking against. He's going to be speaking against uh, great kingdoms, great countries, such as America, because what does America uh, uh, emphasize? Just straight wickedness, man. All right. And then they're going to be speaking uh, about what the evil times to come and all the pestilence and the, and, and, and the things that are about to come pretty much being the spirit of prophecy, man, speaking things before they happen, man. All right. That's the whole point of giving that warning. And we're giving that warning to who the Negroes, Latinos and Native Americans, man. All right. So-called uh, 12 tribes uh, of Israel, man, the 12 tribes uh, of the Lord, man, the Lord's chosen people. All right. So this is not a light thing, man. All right. So, hey, uh, just to often remind you, man, we have to understand what we're involved in, all right? The objective that the Lord has for us to do, man, all right? And the mission, man, because at the end of the day, man, and we're looking to get those incorruptible crowns, man. We're looking for, for salvation and we're looking to be saved, man, all right? But with that being said, we have to do what? And we're going to end with what we started with, man, all right? Wherefore, the rather brethren, all right? Brethren, sincere believers and followers of Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, Give that diligence, man, all right, to make your election and your calling short, for if you do these things, ye shall never fall, man, 
All right, and and we don't want to uh and, and we don't want to fall, man. All right, we want to stand ten toes down. All right, we want to keep doing the work with the ones that have our hands on the plow. We want to keep pushing, man. We want to keep pushing until the Lord comes and redeems us out of this hell, man. All right, now this just was a a, a very quick video. All right, through the power and the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, and Lord willing, I pray that there was edifying and good nourishment to the house of David. So I want to close by saying, call Halayim La Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai Bahashim Rakakwadash. Secondly, I want to give double honors to our apostles and our elders here at Great Millstone for teaching us this truth and who rule well. And Shalom to all you brothers across the four corners of this earth, pushing this word with all righteousness and sincerity. Until the next time, I do say Shalom.